Aster DM, and that is after a confirmed news break. After Aster DM announced a merger with Quality Care Hospitals, and Rachna, who broke this story, is here with more details and what brokerages are making of this move. Rachna, tell us more. Right, it is a CNBC TV 18 news break confirmed. We had first reported on August 5th exclusively that Aster DM and uh, Back Blackstone Back Care Hospitals were looking to go in for a merger and now the announcement has come in. We in fact spoke to the management this morning. Uh, but speaking of the merger first, together these two, comp uh, these two uh, hospital chains coming together will have a bed capacity of 10,150 beds, making them the second biggest hospital chain in the space. The merger is supposed to be EPS accredited from the very start. Uh, this announcement also makes uh, hospitals under Aster, Care, Kim's Healthcare and Evercare all under one umbrella which will be the merged entity, the Aster DM Quality Care which will be the name of the new entity. Speaking of the ownership uh, pattern and this merger, uh, the deal contours of this merger, Aster will acquire 5% stake in Quality Care and in turn Blackstone and TPG will get 3.5% stake in Aster DM from the promoter family. This will uh, give Aster shareholders, uh, Aster shareholders 57% and QCIL shareholders about 42% in the merged entity. Whereas Blackstone will be the single largest shareholder in the merged entity at 30.7%. Uh, Aster's promoter family, that's the Mopin family, will hold about 24%. The Aster's public shareholders at 33% and others, which also includes TPG Capital, by the way, at about 12%. The combined entity is expected to have revenues of about 7,314 crore with a post indas EBITDA of 30 1396 crore and ROC of 18%. The bed capacity, like I said, uh, currently exceeds 10,000 10, beds right away with this merger. But the plan, as what management told us this morning, is to go up to 13,300 by 2027. Uh, with an occupancy rate of 65%, the average revenue per occupied bed, that's the RPOP, stands at Rs. 39,100 and this will make the merged entity the second biggest hospital chain in the country. When we look at our margins right now, EBITDA margins around 17%, it actually moves up to 19% in a post-merge scenario. So, which is why, exactly like you said, it's EPS accredited from day one. This merger, it values the entire deal at uh, more than $5 billion. So we believe uh, and uh, that this is one of the largest uh, healthcare transactions this year. So we should be able to see the additional 10 to 15% uh, EBITDA margin expansion, uh, maybe in uh, uh, sort of two years, 18, uh, 24 months to 36 months is when you really start unlocking those synergistic opportunities, to be honest. Asta has been outperforming its peers and we have been growing much faster than most of the peers in the industry. We expect that the combined level will still be able to be close to 20% CAGR. Uh, I think what has happened also is since Blackstone has come in, there has been a lot of investments that they've been making in terms of uh, infrastructure upgrades. So I think there's been a little bit of uh, 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 a delay in some of those um, investments paying off. But at a combined level, we expect that we should be able to do still a 18, 20 percent uh, revenue CAGR over the next uh, uh, couple of years. A big merger there in the healthcare space <clears throat> and Astra DM2 trading with gains of close to 3% in today's session. The other big event.